Have you ever wondered what it's like for a horse with severe equine asthma? Imagine a horse, a creature of grace and power, struggling for breath. This is the reality for horses with severe equine asthma, a chronic, non-infectious, inflammatory obstructive lower airway disorder. It's not just an occasional cough or a runny nose, it's a serious condition that can significantly impact the quality of life for these majestic creatures. Equine asthma is like a kink in the hose of the horse's respiratory system. The small diameter airways deep within the lungs undergo chronic inflammation, making it difficult for air to flow in and out. Imagine trying to breathe through a narrow straw. That's the kind of struggle these horses face every time they take a breath. In a healthy horse, the respiratory tract is akin to a tree. The main airway branches out into progressively narrower passages until reaching the tiny air sacs or alveoli, where oxygen and carbon dioxide are exchanged. But in a horse, with severe equine asthma, this natural, efficient system is disrupted. Inflammation of the airway walls constricts these passages, like a swollen riverbank narrowing a river, making it difficult for air to reach the alveoli. The smooth muscles surrounding these lower airways contract, further narrowing the airways, and to make matters worse, mucus and secretions accumulate, obstructing the airways even more. This leads to symptoms we can see and hear, coughing, nasal discharge, and a reduced tolerance for exercise. It's not just about making it harder to win a race or perform in a show. This is about a horse's ability to live comfortably, to be able to run and play without struggling for breath. Equine asthma is not just a simple cough or a runny nose. It's a serious condition that can significantly impact a horse's quality of life. It's about the struggle for every breath, the constant battle against inflammation and constriction. It's about the fight for air. It's clear that equine asthma can be a significant hindrance to a horse's quality of life. Severe equine asthma, affecting an estimated 1 in 7 horses, about 14% in the Northern Hemisphere, primarily targets adult horses, typically those aged 7 years or older. Considering the increasing longevity of horses, 7 years is relatively young, rendering it unacceptable for such a debilitating condition to afflict them at this stage. Recognizing the signs of asthma promptly and implementing appropriate treatment and management protocols can significantly enhance the quality of life for affected horses, enabling them to breathe freely and remain physically active for years to come. Not every horse is equally susceptible to severe equine asthma. Did you know that certain breeds are more predisposed to this condition? Let's delve deeper into this. Horses, like humans, can be more prone to asthma due to their genetic makeup. For instance, breeds such as Lipitzans and Warmbloods have shown an increased risk of developing severe equine asthma if one or both parents are affected. Although no specific genes have been pinpointed as responsible for asthma, ongoing research suggests a complex relationship between multiple genes and environmental factors. This interplay makes certain horses more susceptible to developing this chronic respiratory condition. But it's not all about genetics. Environmental triggers also play a substantial role in the onset and progression of equine asthma. Picture this, a horse housed indoors, surrounded by dusty bedding and fed dry hay. The prevalence of severe equine asthma is notably higher in such settings. Exposure to dust and mold spores in the air can exacerbate the chronic inflammation that characterizes this condition, making it more difficult for the horse to breathe. But it's not just dust and mold. Other triggers include pollen, irritants like ammonia, and even heat. These factors can provoke what we call pasture-associated heat, pollen, and smoke-induced asthma. Each variant underscores the diversity and complexity of triggers contributing to this condition. Managing these environmental triggers is crucial in minimizing the horse's exposure to potential allergens. This involves meticulous management of the horse's living conditions, including careful consideration of their bedding and diet, and even the quality of air they breathe. So, you see, the story of equine asthma is one of interaction. It's an intricate dance between genetics and environment where both partners play significant roles, it's a dance that can sway in favor of health or disease, depending on the steps taken to manage the horse's environment. In conclusion, asthma is not just about genetics, it's also about the environment where the horse lives. The interplay between genetic predisposition and environmental triggers makes the understanding and management of this condition a complex but fascinating challenge. Managing an asthmatic horse involves more than just medication. The environment and diet play a crucial role. 
When it comes to environment management, the key is to minimize the horse's exposure to allergens and irritants. The prevalence of severe equine asthma is notably higher among horses housed indoors, particularly those exposed to dusty bedding or fed dry hay. Thus, ensuring a clean and dust-free stable is fundamental. Notably, other asthma variants are triggered by factors such as pollen, smoke and heat, underscoring the diverse triggers contributing to the condition. Therefore, understanding your horse's specific triggers and adapting its environment accordingly can significantly reduce asthma flare-ups. Now let's talk about diet. Feeding practices play a pivotal role in managing asthmatic horses. Dry hay, a common part of many horses' diets, can unfortunately be a significant source of allergens. Alternatives to dry hay, such as soaked hay, haylage or pelleted diets, can prove beneficial in reducing allergen exposure. Soaked hay, for example, has the same nutritional content as dry hay, but has the added benefit of being less dusty. Haylage, on the other hand, is fermented hay, which reduces the presence of dust and spores. Pelleted diets are also a great option, as they are dust-free and easy to digest. Moreover, feeding smaller, more frequent meals can help. This approach not only extends foraging time, which mimics a horse's natural grazing behavior, but also minimizes wastage. Slow feeders can also be useful in this regard. They encourage slow and steady eating, which can help prevent digestive issues and reduce the risk of choke. Despite the challenges associated with changing feeding practices, such as the extra time required to soak hay or the expense of procuring hay alternatives, prioritizing respiratory health through appropriate feeding practices is absolutely imperative. By adjusting the environment and diet, we can significantly improve the condition of an asthmatic horse. Severe equine asthma presents a multifaceted challenge necessitating a holistic approach encompassing environmental management, dietary modifications and medical intervention. By understanding the genetic predisposition, environmental triggers and therapeutic strategies associated with the condition, owners and veterinarians can collaboratively ensure optimal respiratory health for affected horses. Prioritizing clean breathing zones, implementing dietary alternatives to dry hay and judicious use of medications constitute essential components of an effective management plan, enabling horses to lead healthy, active lives despite the challenges posed by severe equine asthma. Severe equine asthma is a complex condition, but it's not insurmountable. We've learned that not every horse is vulnerable, with genetics playing a significant role in susceptibility. With knowledge and careful management, we can help our horses breathe easier and live healthier, happier lives. If you found this video helpful or interesting, show some appreciation by hitting the like button and subscribing for more. This helps us a lot so we can make more informative videos about horses.